Shalom family. So now this is very interesting. Last week, Monday, well before the attack in Israel even started, this article came out. Christian journalist calls out State Department for funding terror via UNRWA. Monday, a correspondent for Christian media called out the State Department spokesman for funding the UNRWA despite the organization enabling terrorism that resulted in Jewish deaths. In comparison, an Arab correspondent's question led to a condemnation of Jews living in Judea and Samaria. White House correspondent and reporter for the Intermountain Christian News, Dr. Anthony Harper, confronted Matthew Miller, the State Department spokesperson, about the funding from the United Nations Works and Reliefs Agency for Palestine. In light of the UNRWA donors' agency meetings at the UN, will the US ask the UN to inspect and disarm UNRWA refugee camps that have become well-equipped arsenals? Dr. Harper, Harper asked a follow-up question because that one was ignored. Will the U.S. challenge the official Palestinian school curriculum, which rejects the two-state solution, by teaching the next generation to reject any recognition of Israel? Miller again deflected and did not answer the question. And a few short days later, this horrifying attack breaks out. There is blood of the innocents on the hands of the United Nations, on the hands of America, on the hands of all the countries that have secretly and evilly and deviously been plotting and planning against the nation of Israel. God bless. Keep looking up. Keep praying for Israel. Shalom.